I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by Wondershare's Demo Creator. Roll the thing. This video sponsor. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And no doubt if you saw the title card like one tenth of a second ago, you know this is a review episode. This time around we're taking on Wondershare's Demo Creator, that's their new screen recording software that also has an editor built in. Now over the years I have used a bunch of screen recording software. I've used some expensive ones, I've used some free ones, so I thought we might jump in right now and see how this one measures up. So guys, before we jump into an in-depth review of the software itself, I thought it might be worth jumping on the website and just seeing what the features are of this thing. Now, firstly, you can see right here that I can record the computer screen or capture the webcam. That's all pretty standard stuff. I like the idea that you can select a target area, you can set a frame rate, and you can record your microphone or your webcam separately or simultaneously. That's pretty good. Next, of course, this is a pretty good feature and something that doesn't come with some screen recording softwares, and that's the ability to edit recorded videos and add interactive effects like add annotations, which is really cool. And lastly, now it sounds a bit fluffy, but save your inspirations in multiple formats. Now, the ability to export your videos in multiple different formats is a really a big thing with screen recording software. I know that I like exporting it in a nice beefy MOV file or an MP4, just so I can take that into the editor and get started. I also like the ability to export as a GIF or GIF file. That's actually really handy because that can be quite complicated, especially with Premiere Pro. So we've jumped on the website, we've seen the features, it looks pretty promising, but how about we jump on in there and have a look for ourselves. Okay gang, so here we are on Wondershare's Demo Creator and I thought I'd just do a bit of a tour of the overall interface before we jump into the recording functions because my desktop is really, really messy at the moment. So let's do this first. So obviously you can see at the top here, we have the ability to import video clips, audio clips, you know, all that sort of stuff, standard stuff for an editor. So the next thing here is just the titles. So we have a whole bunch of animated titles. We have lower thirds, we've got openers, you know, all that sort of stuff. You can see we can also cycle through them up here on the drop down menu. Next one here is text boxes, so the ability to add captions and whatnot. You can also see we have lines and arrows, we've got little sketchy things, we've also got some shapes we can also add to our video once we're done recording it. Okay, so next we've got stickers. Now, I'm not sure what you'd use these for as an editor myself, but who knows? Maybe someone just needs a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know. So there's a quite a few of these. There's backgrounds, it looks like, oh, there's, there's some educational ones. There's also, so there's some educational ones. Now these game ones, I don't think they actually move at all. I think they're just still images and just the animated ones are just up here. Moving on, we also have transitions. Well, that's a decent number of those. We also have the ability to key out green screen footage which is actually pretty cool we've got some cinema bars and we have a mosaic effect this is all pretty basic stuff but within screen capture software the ability to key out a green screen that's that's a pretty decent feature and of course finally we have the ability to customize our cursor as i mentioned before so you can add click rings if that's your deal you can have a cursor highlight if that's your deal and you can also have the sound of your mouse clicking which Personally, I'm not a big fan of, but you can see that the the basic outlier of this is a pretty cut down editor. It's not overly complicated. It looks very similar in vain to Filmora, and Filmora is pretty damn easy to use. So I guess the other thing we have left to do is hit record. Okay, so when you hit record, you can see that it cuts down to the screen recording part of Demo Creator. Now you can see down here we have a whole bunch of options and you can also see the ridiculously messy studio that I have right now because the webcam's turned on and I'm just gonna shut that off. <laughs> there we go. That spares everyone that awful vision. Now you can also see, we can also set the recording area. So you can either set a custom size or you can select the target window it says later, which is interesting. I'm not sure what that, that does. Whether you can actually hone in on something later. Hmm, that might be a really cool feature. So we're gonna just go full screen for now. Now, 
to go into the advanced features we're going to click this little icon here and go into the settings now you can see what we can do here this is where you can really dial in what you want to capture so with the screen capture you can actually set you know <laughs> don't capture full screen you can set a custom size letter there's that again that's strange i don't know what that means but i'm just going to go with full screen for now if you can actually dial into a specific window or a specific size later on that's actually a really really cool feature next up setting the frame rate you can actually go all the way up to 120 frames per second that's a little bit over the top but actually really cool for smooth buttery video i wouldn't go anywhere above 60 and i generally capture screen capture at 30 frames per second when i'm doing film learn tutorials so let's just hit 30 frames per second for now now onto the audio now you can see it's already selected my rode nt usb which is what i use to narrate all film learning tutorials and you also have the ability to either capture the computer audio or not i'm going to go ahead and hit don't capture because i don't need that at all next up is the camera now this is my very crappy pro stream webcam which is very unpro and that whopping resolution of 640 by 480 i think we might just uh go ahead and keep that off for now now let's go into the advanced and it's just showing you where you want it to uh, save what do you want the encoding quality to be h.264 is absolutely fine and lastly we've got our shortcuts for stopping and starting the footage now all we have to do now is just hit capture okay gang we are back in demo creator we've imported our footage and you can see that it's one file which is a bit weird because we did record audio we did record the camera and we did record the screen so watch what happens when i drag it onto the timeline we get three tracks we get our audio we get our camera and we get our screen and each one of these can be adjusted and manipulated independent of each other so we can play with the audio over here so you can see we can change the volume we can denoise it if need be and we can actually change the speed which is weird but okay it's still a feature and next is the camera now obviously we can scale this down we can rotate it if that's your bag or you can say i don't like it on that side of the screen i'm going to put it on this side of the screen whatever you want to do go for it you can also change the opacity if you don't want it to uh, obscure some of your footage or you can change the blending mode if you want to do that now as we move down to the screen here is a negative that i have picked up and that is that if i scale this down you can see that it's only captured a portion of my screen because my screen is a 4k monitor and it seems like demo creator can only capture 1920 by 1080 screens so for those of you who are working in 4k and doing your screen capture in 4k this is going to be a problem for you but for anyone that is working in full hd and or lower you'll be completely fine now one thing i would recommend guys if you are interested in this software and you want a bit more of an in-depth overview head to the one share demo creator youtube page because they have quite a few tutorials that show you in depth how to do all of this stuff that i've just mentioned so guys that was a quick look and review at wondershare's demo creator their screen recording and editing software as you can see it's very very easy to use and it's very streamlined and allows you to do what you need one of the things i really do like about it is the editor is very similar to filmora so if you've ever used Filmora, once you jump on here, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do. So gang, if your interest has been piqued by the video, even you wanna check out a little bit more of Wondershare's demo creator, just click that link down in the description and download a demo and yeah, check it out for yourself. But that's gonna do it for this review episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, maybe leave a thumbs up, you know, I really do appreciate it and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes, right over here that are Wondershare related so check those ones out also i got all my social media stuff here if you want to follow me for behind the scenes and musings from this giant egg noggin and i'm sure there's some other stuff over there but until i see you again guys keep learning